Hi folks, Dave here from the Taining Geek. Rocking the Incas today. I'm with the shadow of Barry on my t-shirt. So Barry the cameraman, in other words a Joby, with a Joby dead cat microphone. So I'm currently recording using the Joby. That's the important thing to remember. Because what we're talking about today is the Shox Mini. Now this is where on Dragon's Den, Deborah Mead and we get all excited about the branding. This is the same chap who appears on the other Shox headphones keep me in you see after shocks um, shocks headphones and these are the minis same bloke probably would have been better to put a smaller head on would have been easier in the shops when you're buying these things there's Barry Barry shadow going in the way again so what I'm going to do is unbox these and compare them to the open run pros inside so these are open run pros which I use a lot now what a lot of people find is my head even though I'm nearly two meters tall is of a standard size i know that said it all measured years ago when i had a job where i had to wear a helmet so on the back some people complain that this bit on the back is a bit gets in the way um don't really find that unless you've got a collar on or whatever so what i'm going to do is put the open run mini on me with a standard size head and see what that's like but in the meantime as i'm recording on barry what i thought i'll do is i'll connect the open run pro and record and then what we'll do is unbox the open room mini connect those and just see what the difference is probably not a lot but it's just worth doing just to see what they're like and then we'll talk about the rest of the spec what i like about them what i don't like about them and try and put them on somebody's head who's a lot smaller than mine okay so barry is no longer connected i'm recording using the open room pros can you hear this over the back wall here we've got a few cars knocking about down the quiet lane um, just remember I'm going out for a run, must put a hat on and slip slop slop and all that sort of stuff. I mean quite sunny, and she'd love it. That chattering on is just so you know what these things sound like. Unbox the open room mini now and let's see what they sound like. Gonna unbox now a pair of scissors, the ridiculous knives that people tend to use, and still using the open room pros for recording. What I'll do now is unbox this rather than pulling away at it and you can see what it looks like. When you take the lid off, this is what you're presented with, all beautifully packaged. What I would like to see on the back of the packaging for Open Run or any shocks devices is about their sustainability. That's more and more important now, particularly with what we're faced with. Uh, survival on the planet and all this sort of stuff. So what's this made of? How recyclable is it? And how sustainable is the company? Oh, I'll ask them. Anyway, so those are the shocks, those are the shock minis in black, they come in different colours. Go and what you have underneath. You have an empty box, and then you have a serial number, which is always very important to keep. Because just in case you get warranty problems, just occasionally on shocks, what you get is you'll get a pair where these buttons don't work. And that's just occasionally they, and they're very good at swapping them out. Um, just an occasional risk. So you get two year warranty. So in the bag, what do we have? A charging cable, which is magnetic. Top tip, make sure that you keep this dry. Even though these are IP67 water resistant, you, um, some people might as go as far as saying waterproof, I say water resistant, make sure they're dry. There have been known issues where those are slightly damp and you charge it, people get problems. So always make sure there's a dry before I do that, but you can wear these in the rain and all that sort of stuff and have no problems whatsoever. So that's it in the bag. Charger, fuel instructions, warranty card, all beautifully packaged. And what I'll do now is take off my Open Run Pro and compare them in size. On the right here, we have the Open Run Pro in blue, and then on the left in black, so different colors available, just to repeat myself, are the Open Run Minis. Not massively different. If I overlay, as you can see, one just fits slightly inside the other. What are they like on fit? Let's find out. So this is Griff wearing Open Run Pros. This shows you the gap behind the head. So just tilt your head back for us, Griffey. Okay, so you can see what happens with these and some people might find uncomfortable. You find that presses on your clothing. That's the standard size 
So shops. now these are the open run minis. And you can see they touch the back of your head and just put your head back. There you go. So what do they feel like? Feel a lot better. Does it? There you go. So that's it. it that underlines my theory that these minis should be standard size and the old size should be a large what size. I've done is I've got into my smartphone, I've opened the Bluetooth settings on the plus button on the open run mini. I've pressed the plus button, so you've got plus and minus. That's literally all there is to do. And you skip or stop track or answer calls on on your left side, your left temple. So what I do, press the plus button, keep it pressed down. It'll say, welcome to shocks. And then what we'll do, is say on, and then you just keep it pressed down and you'll notice that you've got pairing on your smartphone. Just click on that device. It says you're connected and then off you go. So I'm now recording on these so you get a good idea of what these sound like. So what do you think? I won't alter with the audio settings in the edit of this. You will have had my Joby dead cat mic. You will have had the Open Run Pro and you'll have the Open Run Mini. Okay, I'm now going off to a run. See you in a bit. This is me on a dog walk in the morning following the run from before. So yesterday you saw me unboxing these. These are the Open Run Minis. And gotta say, on a dog walk, they're very comfortable. Around me, you can hear probably the bird song, which I'm hearing. I was also listening to the cycling podcast before I record this. Probably my favorite of all podcasts. Yesterday on the run, I started with these, listening to the City Wire advice show. The audio on that was awful. I thought there was something wrong with the headphones. Apparently the recorders in the studio. Not sure about that. Whereas the cycling podcast, recording their podcast, live from the Giro d'Italia, has to taken the barriers down. Audio is fantastic. See so I'm walking along, you can hear the bird song, hear the cuckoo. Um, and podcasts are great to listen to. What happened yesterday is I switched off the advice show, uh, which is slightly frustrating, any of you know, when you're running and you've got to stop and change your blooming tracks with no mobile signal. Anyway, switch to Spotify. Spotify for me has a higher volume than Apple Music. Got both, like both. Uh, but anyway, put Spotify on. The audio was fantastic. In fact, I had more than enough audio even when cars were coming past. So the volume on these is very good. And I think partly because of the tighter fit means it fits on the temples even better. I think they're onto something. I was considering this as I walk into a bush. And I do think this tighter fit could be the way to go forward. You know, if you've got a chubby head, let's say, uh, then probably not as comfy. But I would say for athletes with thinner heads, this is probably the more standard than the mini and the other one ought to be the large. But that's just my thought from my perspective. Almost two metre tall bloke, big ears seven and three sixteenth hat, hat size give you comparison for those of you still get okay, measured so in hats. summary using just for a bit of bedevilment my apple airpod pros which i've got to say after about two years of using i still don't like much um, the only thing i use them for is listen to a podcast before i go to sleep at night that's another thing anyway to the point at hand which is the aftershocks open run mini very very good i'd even say uh, i would personally try them before i tried any other size shocks seriously just check if you don't carry a lot of loose folds of skin or whatever at the back of your head or have got bushy hair i think you will find these more comfortable than the standard shocks Obviously, if you want to go for the enhanced facilities of the top level Open Run Pro, you're going to have to have the standard band. I can see these minis being personally the standard size, as I've said, for all the models coming out in the future. Nice little experiment to do of them on the Open Run. And I would, what I would say is about the Open Run minis is the sound is more than good enough. Audio books, podcasts and music, for me, it's all very, very good and great. You can hear from the recording quality, it's really good. So if the calls would be fab as well. So good product. As far as well as price goes, check that out online. Just see what it's like in your region. And for charging, they charge very quickly, as you know. They charge really quick. You should have any USB at the side of your computer, they're fine. And as far as that long as the charge lasts, 
eight hours. Some people have got more. Depends on if you do any audio recording or make phone calls. So thanks for watching. Comments down below. Please subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Thanks again. Bye.